welcome back to the English class, my dear students. In our last class, we had seen how the family members of Mr. Abel Meriwether reacted when he entered the room where they were having tea, where they were having a discussion. My worries are that I have a hundred and twenty-one of them that my queen and my react to keep it up. We ugly come. Lastly, queen and missing better. Queen and missing better. But lastly. Mr. Abel Meriwether could not find his slippers when he woke up. And he asked where he had gone, where his slippers had gone. Magi slipper kai chakrabanon hangamane mana. Now suddenly he saw Henry removing them. And then he asked why he was wearing them. Now Amelia spoke all of a sudden and she said that she had asked Henry to wear them to stretch them as they were new and hard. Now she called to Henry took away the slippers from him and gave them to Abel. Mana Babaina Hanbo Ibanina Henry the Tongzalon Hibani and Marin Chatnaban Hairaga my Henry Degi slippers in the Mulaga my father Pigre. Aqua di Makata was going as up. Mugi Mato do with the Mrs. Jordan Elizabeth Naka. My Henry to Ben, my husband Hibani. Well, I don't call that delicate. Stepping into a dead man's shoes in such haste. Henry goes up to the window and pulls up the blind. Victoria runs across to Abel and sits on the floor at his feet. Now Elizabeth said to Ben, Mana Ben the hyper neighbor. That I don't well I don't call that delicate. Asimaksu Pazan de Pazaman de Man Hyper neighbor. That it was not in good test. Mana not in good test. Mongta de Hesekinabu to wear a dead person's footwear in such a hurry. She was talking about Henry's act of wearing her father's slippers. And then Victoria ran up to Abel and sat on the floor near his feet. Victoria Victoria says, Oh grandpa, I'm so glad you are not dead. Victoria says that she is so happy to see her grandfather alive. Now Mrs. Slater in vindictive whisper, Mrs. Slater in Vindictive means in ill-natured whisper. Man harak paneva. Victoria, a little bit angrily, hold your tongue, Victoria. Victoria, wanganganu. Don't say like that. She spoke in an ill-mannered, low voice. Abel, eh? What is that? Who has gone that? Now, since Victoria said that she was not happy that her grandfather was not that, Abel asked, "Who has gone that?" Kanali tabu yogya be man harak paneva ko. Now, Mrs. Slater, she spoke loudly in order to change the topic. She said that Victoria says she is sorry about your head, not dead, your head, father. Amelia spoke loudly that what Victoria said was that she felt bad that he was suffering from a, from a serious headache. I am quite well except a little bit of headache. Victoria and Heidi Babanagi Kok Nungai to have a Masori Hibane. Abel, ah, thank you, Vicky, but I'm feeling better. Abel thanked Victoria for showing her concern and said that he was feeling a little bit better by the time. Now, Mrs. Slater to Mrs. Jordan, he is so fond of Victoria. Amelia said to Elizabeth that their father liked Victoria so much. Then Mrs. Jordan also says, uh, Yes, he is fond of Jimmy also. Yes, Jimmy uh, was Elizabeth said that he liked Jimmy, her son, also very much. This is in reference to the earlier comment made by Elizabeth that she that her father had promised his gold watch to her son Jimmy. My Matani Pad Jimmy does Hanai Gari Pidin was me have a dog, other matanga difference, Peter Goniko Hangariza. Nangariza. Aduna Mrs. Slater Hangai. You would better ask him if he promised your Jimmy his gold watch. Adudi Amta Hangune. You just asked him whether he promised his gold watch to your son Jimmy before his death. Now Mrs. Jordan Elizabeth disconcerted. Disconcerted means a little bit disturbed. She says, I could not just now. I don't feel equal to it. Elizabeth said that. No, 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 she did not feel like asking that question right that time, right now. Because she was a little bit disturbed at the suggestion. Now, 
Abel all of a sudden sees that all the family members are in black. Me do not know what to dress in the morning. I am hungry. Why Ben you are in mourning? And Lizzie too? And Amelia and Henry and little Vicky? Now who has gone dead? It's someone in the family? He chuckles. Abel noticed that everyone was wearing a mourning dress. So he asked who was dead and he laughed as he asked if someone if someone in the family had died. Now Mrs. Slater says, No one you know, Father, a relation of Ben's. Amelia handled the question very smartly and she replied that Abel did not know the person who had died. It was one of Ben's relatives. She said, No one you know, Father, a relation of Ben's. Abel, and what relation of Ben's? Now Abel asked, how the dead person was related to Ben. Mrs. Slater replied, his brother. Amelia replied that they were brothers. Now Ben and Mrs. Slater, Ben to Mrs. Slater happening. Dang it, I never hit one. No. Ben just asks Amelia to stop it as he had never, he never had a brother. Now Abel said, there, there, and what was his name, Ben? Ben gidi maya mam tali zeta bunewa ben na tumin hai punai hai ai gi yambali te kana kai nunu hai ri tubo ana adu han nunu ri tahau dre adu nangai ai ma nunu hai te ne ben ma ming kiri kai ne yamba te te abel grandfather abel seriously thought that ben was in shock due to his brother's death and so he spoke like that to amelia he asked what his brother's name was what was the name of his brother ben at the loss now ben was at the loss he was confused. He crosses to the front of the table and he was trying to just make up a name. Now Mrs. Slater from the right of the table prompting, prompting, Frederick Hayo, Frederick Hayo. Then Mrs. Zordan from the left of the table prompting, left of the table, Albert Hayo, Albert Hayo. So, Amelia suggested Frederick and Elizabeth suggested Albert. Now Ben, just a little bit confused and said, uh, Fred, uh, Albert, Isaac. Now he said that the name of his brother was Isaac. He joined the halves of the, both the names suggested by Amelia and Elizabeth in order to appear genuine. Fred, Alva, Isaac. Isaac, and where did your brother Isaac die? Isaac So, ma hang up and he see it again. Where did your brother Isaac die? Ben just all of a sudden replied that he died in Australia. Now Ben said, there, there, he would be older than you. Eh, us, no idea, no idea. Ne am the Yes, five years. Say mga halin. Aye, aye. Are you going to the funeral? Nebu jaga chaturi bro. Yes, Satuini. Ben replied that he was going. No, Mrs. Slater ga Jordan. No, hayo, no, hayo, no, no. Because they were in London, the lady, England, the lady, Aduga, Ozik, funeral chat in Australia, then I thought there was a mismatch. Mapum them chana drebugo. Then I think color can the benzo. Oh, no, of course not. He retires to left. Now, retires means retirement here, sit back to indicate that he was no longer part of the conversation. What did you do? No, 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 he was not going to the funeral. Then Abel says, rising, Well, I suppose you have only been waiting for me to begin tea. I'm feeling hungry. Abel stood up and said that he probably, probably they had been waiting for him to begin tea, to have start tea. He said that he was feeling hungry. Mrs. Slater taking up the kettle, I'll make the tea. A cha same again, Amelia na cha same hawe. Abel na, come along now, sit you down and let's be jolly. Abel sits at the head of the table, facing spectators. Ben and Mrs. Zodan on the left. Victoria brings a chair and sits by Abel. Mrs. Slater and Henry sit on the right, but the women are next to Abel. Abel na, Abel call everyone to sit at the table and be happy as they had tea. Head of table, spectators, Ben and Mrs. Jordan left the lay. 
Victoria na sokri po salaga mabuke mga talay. Mrs. Letter na Henry na yet thang basay talay. Ado ganun pi anima na both the women are next to the father. Now they start having tea. Mrs. Letter na hai Henry give grandpa some tongue. Henry babada some tongue. Tongue si ako yung mani po ki textbook tiri tongue hai bani adobo mapan ki textbook sing tiri nga sa some call pa hai hai ko. So chan na po po ni call pa hai hai su. Babada chan na bakrap yu na hai ko. Tang du krap yu or chan na bakrap yu na hai ko. Abel na, thank you, I'll make a start. He helps himself to bread and butter. Now Henry serves the pie and uh, the tongue and uh, Mrs. Slater pours out tea. Only Abel eats with any heartiness. Abel thanked Amelia and uh, said that he would start eating. He took bread and butter to eat. Henry served him the apple pie or the tongue and uh, Amelia served him the tea. Only Abel ate the breakfast heartily. Abel katani harao na chaari zhe ata idi they were just a little bit uneasy as they had come to mourn Abel's death and upon seeing him alive they were in a state of shock. Moe di maa shire na morning gi damakta handu shiba gi teng thaba gi adaga morning gi damakta lai ni adha church ta chala kanda graveyard ta chala kanda mong khom ta chala kanda maa phumba gi funeral gi process ni yao na ba lai ni adaga maa hinga cha thak bi nare adha moe di kwe gi moe di maa obo da shok cha le amo diri harao na cha thai kaim khanda bani na gao now Ben Nairi, glad to see you have got an appetite, Mr. Meriwether. Although you have not been quite well. Appetite means hunger. Now Ben said that he was happy to see that Mr. Abel Meriwether was feeling hungry, although he was not keeping a good health. Haksang kya patra su chaba tak pagi wakala pamba parapudu nungai ko Mr. Abel na. Moe di makubok tu su Mr. Abel na maming dudum hai neko ngang sa. Now Abel says, nothing serious. I've been lying down for a bit. Abel said that he did not have any serious health issue. He had been simply taking some rest. Karishulaiti the problem, health problem. Now, Mrs. Leta says, been to sleep, grandfather? No. Now, Mrs. Amelia asks if he had been sleeping. Abel replied, no, I have not been to sleep. Mrs. Leta and Henry, oh, go. When in oh Isaac and of S, they had replaced the bureau in Abel's room with the chest of drawers and the fear of being caught. Migi mabuboki kada leba bureau the mamoy lah thang dore mamoy kada leba aman ba chest of drawers the pukala thamure. Now they were afraid of being caught. Paga dana pakali adu nani oh na hai rizigo. Now Abel hosi mo te ma kaptin ing zeng rizigo. He was eating and drinking. Mahare, I can't exactly call everything to mind, but I remember I was a bit dazed, like I could not move an inch or hand or foot. Abel continued eating the breakfast and he said that he was unable to recollect the happenings in his room. He remembered that he had been unconscious for some time and he was unable to move an inch, even an inch of distance, either his arm or foot. And could you hear, could you see and hear Mr. Meriwether? Abel, yes. But I don't remember seeing anything particular. Kadi kadi ugi wano ikang dene. I no, I could see and I could hear. Taba ngami, uba ngami. But I don't remember seeing anything particular. No, Ben, pass me some mustard. Mustard kara pasta or own hai ko mustard sauce ni ko. Mrs. Let Mrs. Letter Amelia and Harry ko. Of course not, grandfather. It was all your fancy. You must have been asleep. Amelia said that it had been Abel's imagination. Kali, bapa nang kaim tu ura meroy ba, nang tu mam ganib ko, nang kaim tu ura meroy. Utarzu, it must be everything must be your fancy or imagination. Nang imagination, orang ganib ya ba. Abel na snappishly, just a little bit angrily. I tell you, I was not sleep, Amelia. Damn it, I want to know. Abel called it Amelia and said that he knows that he was not sleep. Tum de mebe mai buat. Dan jasa de Elizabeth Hanzali. Did not you see Henry or Amelia come into the room? Bawa Henry ke Amelia kacang percaya tak berang? Abel na scratching his head. Now let me think. Abel scratches his head to recollect the happenings in his room. My kata kai thok ibu nong zeng namaz mako koli gong. Elizabeth and Ben doubted that Amelia and Henry must have stolen something. Aduh nanti kau kena hura langan ni khalin ni mai nak macam cegi ni cajuk kang ba. Mrs Leter na Henry kau. I won't press him, Elizabeth. Don't press him. Don't pressurize the father. He's all in, an old man and not feeling happy, not feeling quite well. Masanung ay bu oidri, wuzikan je. Kaya nung pressure dam pisan ito babadam taksalun ko. 
Amelia Zina, she acted as if she sympathized with the father and requested Elizabeth not to pressurize him to think upon as he was not well and it would stress his mind. Actually, she doesn't want Abel to recollect the happenings in his room as it could bring the truth to light. Henry is a supporter. I would not worry him. Chummeba, Baba Zawalu is a Tanzasida Abel suddenly recollecting Abel as a reason. Eh, begat. Amelia and Henry, what the devil did you mean by sitting my bureau out of my bedroom? Henry and Mrs. Slater are speechless. Do you hear me, Henry and Amelia? What the devil did you mean? Has it is an expression used in questions to express anger or surprise? Nak pagi yani nda pagi pung dopa adu kum expression makalamani. What the devil did you mean? Begat means I by God. Suddenly, Abel recollected the happenings in the room. He was angry and he asked Amelia and Henry in the name of God, why had they shifted the bureau out of his bedroom? Henry and Amelia were unable to speak. Abel asked them again. That if uh, Abel asked them again if they could hear, ma tabra hangi niko. Hey, noi kai noi ka deu putang do kibudo. Noi bai hai tabra mi. Ani si da now by this time Henry and Mrs. Tate are speechless. Ani si wang wang kang deu ni. Then just Elizabeth hangi. What bureau was that, Father? Baba upu du karam bano. Bureau du karam bano Baba. Bureau hai si ko writing text do ni with with drawers pan bato ni bako. Baba karam bano Baba na hai bureau se. Why my bureau the one I bought? Abel and I go, I know later, I go to the name. I go to the name. Mrs. Zodan, pointing to the bureau, bureau of the Kudombe Tele. Was it that one, Father? Baba Siziran. Elizabeth pointed towards the bureau, kept in the room, and asked if that was the same bureau he was talking about. Now the father says, Hey, that's it. Money, money, I said, What is doing it here? Kedoriba Sidi Keda. Kedoriba Sidi Kazida. Eh. A pause. The clock in the mantelpiece strikes six. Everyone looks at it. Dread me if that's not my clock too. What the devil has been going on in the house? A slight pause. Dread as a fairly mild expression of anger or annoyance. Abel recognized that the bureau was his bureau. Now he asked why it was lying there. He paused as the clock on the mantelpiece struck and saw the time was six o'clock. Everyone looked at the clock and Abel said that Abel said in anger that it was his clock too. He was angry and asked what has been going on in the house as all his belongings have been shifted out to this room. My Well, I'll be hanged. I said it was his bureau. Now, Mrs. Zodan, I'll tell you what has been going on in this house, Father. Nothing sort of robbery. But I it's nothing less than a robbery. Mrs. Tether, be quiet, Elizabeth. Now, Amelia ordered Elizabeth to keep quiet. Now, Mrs. Zodana, no, I'll not be quiet. Oh, I call it double fist. Double fist means standing to say something and doing another. Deceitful. I'm talking about the same thing. i to Henry, now, now, Elizabeth, 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 calm down, calm down, Elizabeth, mind your tongue. So Elizabeth, and, and you too. Aduga Henry, nangzuni. Are you such a poor creature that you must do every dirty thing she tells you? Nang mo pa yam lejet rubo zibro. Nang no peace na haywat na tay sa da ba mo prathubo kundi magtau dun lejet da ba yam upay lejet rubo zibro nang mo. You are such a henpeck husband who was dominated by his wife, and you did everything she told. It's all you to do. Nang na upay mo lejet rubo henpeck ba upa no pa nang nipis na haybog ng tau da ba no pa ro nang mo. Tanzasa da Amelia zu si rising ma hawale ma hari Elizabeth remember where you, where you are remember where you are Elizabeth nukta nisa ng Elizabeth ma hari siko ma zu hari siko ay siyong nangon na cai bangami nang nupar cai bangami ngang ito kaya kalu nising ngon nang ito kaya siko tano sini Tanzasa da Henry come come no quarrelling Henry tried to intervene and he said no 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 you should not quarrel you should not quarrel Ben now Ben also rises he joins the quarrel he says my wife has every right to speak out her own mind. Era ini pisu ngan ini mengang nabi dah lihat dah hayu dah ini pisu hayu. Tanjasa the missus letter hay. Then she can speak it outside no dear. Now if your wife has every right to speak, then she can speak it outside no dear. Nampu pinang ngan gede, sedang ngan biru, nampu panang ngan biru rock. 
Abel rising and thumping the table. Abel, how gali? Table the kutum tilly. Table tilly to hide it. Damn it all! Will someone tell me what has been going on? Ang tanga ko. To me na tanga yo. Imong zito isikay na tayo. Mrs. Jordan, yes, I will. I will not see you robbed. Elizabeth said that she would tell him exactly what was happening in the house. And she added that she could not see someone robbing her father. Abel asks, who has been robbing me? Now, Elizabeth replies, Amelia and Henry have been robbing you, father. They have stolen your cloak and a bureau, working herself up. They sneaked into your room like a thief in the night and stole, after, stole them after you were dead. Working herself up means to get upset or angry about something. Sneak means to enter quietly to avoid getting noticed. Baba, no one did you tell us Elizabeth Henry gane. Ma koi na na nangi bureaus huran bani, ma koi na nangi gharis huran bani. Ma koi na nangi kara tumin na changak pa ko huran bana ahi na changak pa dona changaga nang sire khalaga na pote mein huran bani hai. Now Henry and Elizabeth. Henry and Mrs. Slater, hush, quiet, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, to me, Leo, to me, Leo, Ban Hagar. Mrs. Zodan, I will not be stopped. After you were dead, I say. Elizabeth said that now they could not stop her. She repeated her father, repeated to her father that they stole his belongings after they thought he was dead. Abel, after who was dead? No, no, me, she was, she was, she was, she was, she was, she you were supposed to be dead. Baba nang se sira kanda. Nang sira khala kanda ni bumoin hurali se. Abel na, but I'm not dead. I didn't see this city. Elizabeth na, no, see dey but chumme bab. You are not that father. But they thought you were. Moin na di nang sira ne khalu reva. Now Abel pauses. He gazes round at them. Round am yeng ay kaon. Oh, so that's why you are all in black today. Oh, adu na di nang si no black dress sira lezi dia. You thought I was dead. No, in AC, Kalineva. He chuckles. That was a big mistake. That was a very serious mistake. He sits and resumes his team. Pami, Chatak Pahoe. Mrs. Slater sobbing. So Mrs. Slater starts crying. Grandfather, she called her father. Abel, it did not take you long to start dividing my things between you. Now, Abel said that his children, his daughters have started, have been in a hurry to divide his belongings among them. Oh, ado di pa siya kahala bani na no di pa ipot sa siya yan o topo ni dina. Elizabeth said, "No, father, you mustn't think like that. No, 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 father, the Michael Bigano. Amelia was simply getting hold of them on her own account. Elizabeth, Amelia mo tondo na na put na masilok sila bani baba ko yan na bani te. Abel na, you were always a keen one, Amelia. I suppose you thought the will was not fair. Ah, Amelia, I I remember you were always very keen." To get my property, nang aygi properties yam thawa yawa ni pina ikang ni isan ni pina. Ado ka ay na simo zukali. I know that you thought the will was not fair. Will amak ay na same ba do? Madu fair way day na 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 kalle ba ko. Will is a legal document containing instructions as to what should be done with one's money or property after one's death. Si da ba matung da magi lady ba lan tumay am do ka mai tapo dage ka nada pika dage masama suda ka mai sinarang dage hay do na iba ayon ng legal document amak ni ba ko realize ay na same ba legal documento ay gibil do na na fazade na kalye sa ipa kang ini pa gibe ma now Henry asks did you make a will Henry nang eh ah ikubo grandfather did you make a will will lam same bro abel na yes it was locked up in the bureau same same ma do ay na bureau do ay kano do dana bureau do malay ba do kung bra no isa thang dara misa asa dapat sila thamani now, Elizabeth asks, and what was in it, Father? Father, what did you write in the will? Baba, will do the kari again. Mapanai, that doesn't matter now. I am thinking of destroying it and I'm making another. Abel said that what was written in the will was irrelevant now, as he would destroy the will and make another. Hanagi will do, shagarani, mangalani, atop will, masemani, hanakari ige do, irrelevant already, mari lene dren haire. Mrs. Slater is sobbing. Mrs. Slater, Amelia starts crying. And as he says, Grandfather, you will not be hard on me. Amelia says, she requests her father not to be harsh with her. She feared that due to her ex, he might not give her anything. Amelia says, She will not give her anything. 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 
Abel, now I'll trouble you for another cup of tea, Amelia. Two lumps and a plenty of milk. Abelia, no, no, no. I will not trouble you anything. I'll not give you any trouble. Just I would like you to prepare a cup of tea for me. And in the tea, you should, you should add two lumps of sugar and a lot of milk in it. Lump means peaches. Sugar, peach, and pasab, and hapo, sangomeam, hapo, be madu, tsam, semo, shimangari pano, and hagetab. Now, Amelia says, with pleasure, grandfather, I, will, I would do to, I would be very pleased to serve you like that, father. Baba, the maita would have no eyes again here. Now, Abel says, I don't want to be hard on anyone. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since your mother died, I've lived part of the time with you, Lizzie. Part of the time with you, Amelia, and a part of the time with you, Lizzie. Well, I'll, I shall make a new will, leaving all my bits of things to whoever I'm living with when I die. How does that strike you? Abel said that he did not want to be harsh on anyone. Since his wife had died, since he became a widower, he had lived both with his daughters in phases. First, he lived some time with Amelia. Uh, uh, first, he lived some time with Elizabeth and uh, some time with Amelia. Now, he says that he would leave all his belongings to the person he was going to live with at the time of his death. Okay, I don't want to be hard on anyone. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since your mother died, I have lived part of the time with you, Amelia, and a part with you, Lizzie. After the death of your mother, I have spent some time with you, Lizzie, and some time with you, Amelia. Now, I shall make a new will, leaving all my bits of things to whomever I am living with when I die. I don't know. I will leave everything with the person I am going to live with at the time of my death. I will leave everything with the person I am going to live How does that strike you? How do you feel like that? How do you feel? After hearing this, now uh, Henry said that it's a kind of lottery like lottery. Henry said that the idea was, the last, was like a lottery, as no one knew who would win. Mrs. Jordana, and who do you intend to live with from now? Elizabeth asked from that time onwards with whom he would like to live with. Abel drinking his tea. I'm just coming to that. Uh, Mrs. Jordan, you know, Father, it's quite time you came to live with us again. We would make you very comfortable. Mrs. Jordan, Father, Mrs. Slater, no, he has not been with us as long as he was at you. Yaroi. He has not been with us as long as he was with you. I may be wrong, but I don't think father will fancy living on with you after what has happened today. Elizabeth said that she could be wrong, but their father would not like to live with the Slaters anymore after what had happened that day. So you would like to help me again, Lizzie. So, Elizabeth Elizabeth says, you know we are ready for you to make your home with us for as long as you please. Abel says, what do you say to that, Amelia? Amelia Mrs. Tether says, all I can say is that Elizabeth had changed her mind in the last two years. Father, I can say this much, that Elizabeth has changed her mind in the last two years. Now she starts, she stands up and says, Grandfather, do you know what the quarrel between us was about? Baba, I quickly marked the Kanegi with the Kari Gino Nissing Bidibra. Mrs. Sodan, Amelia, don't be a fool, sit down. See, Matangi or Kanda de Amok Amelia Zinawanga was Elizabeth Namukame Ebuko. Because, because Amelia was going to expose her. Amelia na magi aseng mo dung tak tholok toreba. Adun ni man Amelia don't be full sit down harise. Tan jaz da Amelia na harai. No, if I am not to have him, you send either. Ai ge ba ba le mina fangdi. Nang zule mina ba roina. Father, we quarrel because Elizabeth said she would not take you off our hands at any price. She said she had had enough of you to last a lifetime, and we had got to keep you. Baba, 
হাইবেন এলিজাবেত না এনি প্রাইস তো ওই নংজে আখ খুঁত লোথো রোয় বাবা গা মন লেমিন রোয় না আগে আইন বাবা থাকিবেনেবক মানে হাই মোক সেমি পেনজারে বাবা নাগ লেমিন হাই আবেল নাও আন্ডারস্ট এভ্রিথিং আবেল নয় খাঁ মাই ইট সিমস টু মি দ্যাট নিদার অফ ইউ হেজ এনি কোস টু ফিল প্রাউড আবাউট দ্য ওয়ে ইউ হ্যাভ ট্রিটেড মি নিদার নাইদার পাবেন নাইদার ও নিদার পাবেন সো আবেল হাই নখ আনিম ইপাদ লুইনি মৌদ আদুদ চে আমরা মোয় আই থিঙ্ক দ্য ওয়ে ইউ হ্যাভ ট্রিটেড মি দ্যাস নথিং টু প্রাউড আবাউট দ্য ওয়ে ইউ হ্যাভ ট্রিটেড মি নয় এগুলো লুইনি মৌদ নয় কেমন চাকুচে লেটে নেই আসা মিসেস লেটে এস ইফ আই হ্যাভ দন এনিথিং রং আই এম সোর আই এম সোরি ফর ইট আই মেলি আর রিগ্রেট ইট এন্ড আই ফেল সোরি ফর এনি মিসটেক দন বাই হার মিসেস জোদন এন্ড আই কান সে মোর দেন দ্যাট টু এলিজাবেথ সে দ্যাট ইভেন সে ফেল দ্য সেম ওয়ে সে ফেল সে ওয়াজ ভেরি সোরি আবেল সে এস ইটস এ বিট লেট টু সে ইট নাও ইউ নিদার অফ ইউ কেয়ার টু পুট আপ উইথ মি আবেল সে দ্যাট দে ওয়ে আ লিটল বিট সে দে ওয়ে আ লিটল বিট লেট টু সে সোরি বিকজ নিদার অফ দেম কেয়ার ফর হিম Mrs. Slater and Mrs. Zodan together, no, 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 grandfather. But the sisters say that it was not so. But Abel says, hey, you both said that because of what I've told you about leaving my property, about leaving my money. Well, since you don't want me, I'll go to someone that does. Abel said that they were saying that because of the change in the will that he had suggested. He had that, that as they did not want him, he would go to someone who wanted to live with him. নয় না হুজি সোরি হাইডে আই লুম্পনাম থানামগানে হবে হাইবনি ওকে নয় আই পাদ্রে আই পাবি মাত্র চলে হোজিটে বেন সেস কম মিস্টার মেরি ওয়েদার ইউ হ্যাব গো টু লিভ উইথ ওয়ান অফ ইউর ডটার্স মিস্টার মেরি ওয়েদার খামো নং চা নুপি আনি নামগ নত্র আবেল সেস ইয়েস আল টেল ইউ ওয়াট আই হ্যাভ গো টু ডু ওকে আই হ্যাভ সার্টন থিংস টু ডু আবেল সেস আই তোদ কই রোদ এই হাইগ অন মন্দ নেক্সট I've got to go I've got to do three things. First, I have got to go to the lawyers and alter my will. Number 2, and I have got to go to the insurance office and pay my premium and number 3, I have got to go to St Philip's Church and get married. Abel and Harry Booker Monday no meeting to do to home late. Number 1, are you killing not shut kani? Are you will change the money? Number 2, insurance office sa kani? Are the premium pay to kani? Number 3, St Philip's Church sa lagai long to kani? Harry Booker Monday. Abel says that he had three things to do on next Monday. The first was that he should go to the lawyer and change his will. Number two, he should go to the insurance office and pay his, pay his premium. And number three, thirdly, he should go to St. Philip's Church and get married. Ben and Henry, what? Ben and Henry said, what? As they were shocked. Mrs. Zodan, get married? Mrs. Zodan expressed shock that her father would get married. Now, Mrs. Slater He is out of his senses. There's general consternation. Consternation means shock. May I am not shock. So let go. Amelia, no boy. Can you know what Hans did? He is out of his senses. Hans is now ready now. Abel says, "I say I'm going to get married." I long to hear it now. Abel repeated his words that he was going to get married. Mrs. Slater hangi who to? Amelia asked whom he was getting married to. Can I long to know hangi? Abel says. To Mrs. John Sorox who keeps the ring of bells. I know long to say, I long to say, 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 ring of bells. I know long to say, I know long to say, long to say, long to say. We have had it fixed up a good while now. Because I know long to say, I know long to say, I know long to say, but I was keeping it for a pleasant surprise. No, I know long to say. He rises, he stands up, Mahogale. I felt it was a bit of burden to you, so I found someone who would think it a pleasure to look after me. Now Abel comes to the point. I also realize I have understood that I was a bit of burden to you. To serve me to look after me is a bit of burden to you. Ai bu seba to was no ina pham da poluma mo in khalaba na to no nanga sa. Aduna di ai gi seba to buda ai bu take care ai gi da mo ta care lo buda harau za da mi ma thi re gena in khalaba ne ba. And Mrs. John Sorox was ready for that. Mrs. John Sorox adu gi da mo ta ready le ra ne ba. Aduna ni ka We shall be very glad to see you at the ceremony. Long no meter no e ura di no ngai ni na dudia. He gets to the door. Thong lum sali. Till Monday then. Okay. Let's meet on Monday. 12 o'clock at St. Philip's Church to Unara Se. Opening the door. Thong lum sali. And he says, It's a good thing that you brought that bureau downstairs. Amelia. Amelia nang na bureau do thang daramudu pari hai. 
it will be handier to carry across to the ring of bells on Monday. Monday no mita ada ring of bells ta ay no pimay mita puu da do kara ko mani ko nang thang da ba horomori na bureau da hai ramga he goes out ma thok reka. Now here the curtain falls and the play ends. Plays is the lower reka what is that? So what is they going kange? The dear departed nung si nung si na kaine ra ba misak sa kanawa ra. Mr. Abel Mayweather. Masas ni am pamsa ba do am lamin na ningak ba do. Aham da sabi am tau ningda ba do. Baran ba thundu yeng kan da ko nam lamin ningak ba do. Yam luda tau ningak ba do. Housing moy gimak ni chat kere moy property mo ta sa fangdre. So the play, this short play, is a satire on the showy relationship that the children have with their parents. Mama ma passing ni ma pamda tau shin na ba ta taro ga nung shin na ba gi moong lai ba. Ahal laman ba nung shirak ta ba. Housing ki matam gi. Another one generation is that there is a social problem in the world. The mother is a child, and the mother is a child, and the mother is a child, and the mother is a child. The problem is that there is a child. The mother is a child, but the mother is a child. The society is not a child, but the mother is a child. The mother is a child, and the mother is a child. The mother is a child, and the mother is a child. The mother is a child, and the mother is a child. The mother is a child, and the mother is a child. The mother is a child, and the mother is a child. The mother is a child, and the mother is a child. Nak kau play sama enjoy tak? Kau nak kahli Abel Mayer dek karakter yang maru ibu ni. Kau dah ubah gimana cahaya umur dah itu surat kau dah luang ke kahli inosia maru ibu question am kahli. Masa nak pisah ni mana? Mata ukuran na para amat ambik ibu ke? Why did Mr Abel Mayer ibu decide to get married at age of seventy two? And how did it? How did he teach a lesson to his daughters? And the Mr Abel Mayer ibu's character. These are very important things you should take notice in the poem in the play. Okay, I think you enjoy the lesson. Thank you very much.